On this episode of Saturn Archives, I do a quick read of the manuals for Virtua Cop 1 and 2. I've done playthroughs of these games in the past, so if you usually skip the manual parts of these, you should check those videos out too. As you know, I like to read the manuals before diving into the game for this Saturn Archive series. However, I've already dove into both Virtue Cop 1 and 2 for a different series some time ago called On a Rail. If it wasn't obvious, it's a rail shooter focused series. I did these videos with my friend Thomas already, so this video will just be going over the manuals. If you usually skip to the gameplay, go ahead and check out those videos on my channel. You can find them in the cards part of this video if YouTube is even still doing those by the time this video goes up. Oh YouTube, make up your goddamn mind on what you're doing. I had a guide video that relied heavily on navigating via annotations. <clears throat> anyway, instead of using my crappy camera, I'm trying something a little different by using scans. So let's take a look. Obviously we're going to start with Virtua Cop. It is a 1-2 to two player game, as advertised. Of course, uh, on the other side of the manual, it encourages, use, it encourages you to use the stunner, <clears throat> quite obviously. The, uh, unfortunately, we were playing on an LCD TV, and uh, we're stuck using controllers, so our performance isn't that great. Fortunately, I have played this game, not with a stunner, but with an actual light gun, and uh, it was it was fine. So right off the bat, we have uh, whew, these uh, broad-shouldered men. It's a, it was an <clears throat> it's an old era, it's old art, but uh, this is what we're really here for is for the the delicious lore. All right, one month ago, a veteran detective in the Virtuous City Police Department uncovered an illegal gun-running operation that was taking place in the middle of the city. He managed to trace the runners back to a mysterious and powerful crime syndicate and had a mountain of evidence to back his claims, until he was discovered and eliminated. Some of his evidence made it back to headquarters. A special task force was formed, and you were called for the job. Here's what it all comes down to. You're a cop one of the city's finest, stalking the gun runners in the most scumbag-infested districts of the city. And it's an all-out war between the syndicate and the law. Grab your gun and ammo and get ready to dispense some justice on these mean streets. Clean out docks and warehouses of armed smugglers. Clear office buildings of scum. Pick snipers off distant buildings and dodge axe-wielding maniacs as they charge you from out of nowhere. Armored thugs lob axes and grenades into the fray. If you don't deal with them first, you'll have to try your luck at shooting their projectiles out of the air. And watch out for the bystanders. Hitting one is just as bad as shooting yourself. And bear in mind that the bad guys are not above taking hostages. It'll take a steady hand, lightning reflexes, and nerves of steel to fulfill your duty. Are you up to the task? Well, this video was made a long time ago, so I don't remember if Thomas and I were up to the task. I, I have a feeling we were. Of course, it tells you what the buttons are, how to use the gun. The uh, if you live in the states, you don't really need this page. You probably you were probably born knowing how to use one. Uh, it tells you about the options, which there are quite a few. Got your sound test. You can adjust the gun, which is nice. You always always gotta have that option. And then uh, stage select, as if you're not gonna go in the order of just one, two, and three. Like, what, what kind of maniac are you that you wouldn't? It also tells you all about what's on the screen. And uh, like usual, we're we're just going to see that in the video, so I'm not going to really go too in-depth into that. It's got the... What's unique about this is it has the a cool sight thing where the arrows will get closer to the center just as they're about to shoot. So you can uh, pick your targets, you know, prioritize who's the most dangerous. Shows you the uh, different ammo loadouts, which will be uh, on the bottom of the screen as well as your life. And that tells you about the stages. The arms black market. Play a deadly game of hide and seek among stacks of crate crates in the dock warehouse district. Keep calm here. A hasty trigger finger could be your downfall. Then we got the underground weapon storage. Here things start getting ugly. Hacks willing thugs charge you from up close, and other slime balls lob grenades and other weapons at you from their hiding places. Pick off oncoming projectiles to save life markers, and watch out for the rampaging construction equipment. Then we got the gang headquarters. <clears throat> Welcome to the syndicate headquarters. Time to flesh out the head rat from his hole. Engage in guerrilla warfare amidst a jungle of desks, computers, and helpless hostages. And then it tells you what happens when the game is over. How to input your uh, name and uh, the credits. 
and uh, it's it's only 12 pages. It's a real short one. So why don't we why don't we move on to Virtua Cop 2? So uh, right off for right off the bat, we're seeing uh, the art is a bit more crisp. It doesn't look uh, so stiff, so aged. The CG on the front actually looks pretty cool. We have a we have a female character now because of equality. Same as before, we got our table of contents, but without the ugly CG. And uh, let's let's get into that lore once again. Detective Janet Marshall is the new face on the force at the VCPD Special Investigations Unit. Her specialty is subject profiling. The analysis of every detail at a crime scene used to determine patterns of criminal behavior and personality types. Her acumen and expertise in the crime lab have made her reputation and put more than a few nasty customers behind bars. But last year she lost her partner and mentor, Nick Anderson, while on a case. Janet left the lab to join the special investigations team this spring, allowing her to devote herself to tracking down Anderson's killers full time. Janet is definitely her own woman. Some would say she's just plain stubborn, but nobody doubts her ability to crack tough cases. Last summer, the original Virtua Cops, Michael Rage Hardy and James Smarty Cools, who uh, we'll notice in the previous manual, weren't given names. They shut down the EV <laughs> EVL Incorporated. That's a little on the nose. Criminal Empire. Three of the head figures of the EVL Syndicate Company president, Eldon Vile. Wow, these names really are in the, right on the nose, aren't they? Security Chief King and Gang Leader Boss Kong are cooling their heels in the Maximum Security Federal Pen and the final member of the Evil Gang. Let's be real. They just want me to say evil. A four international terrorist, Joe Fang, is believed to have been killed in a helicopter crash, though his body was never recovered. After the downfall of Evil Incorporated, a comprehensive investigation of their black market and gunrun activities was launched. The Virtuous City Bank is under suspicion of involvement in an immense money laundering operation, and the bank vice president has recently met with an untimely, accidental death. Following his death, a secret database was discovered showing periodical transfers of funds between Evil and Virtuous City Bank, but the money, equivalent to a small country's GNP, has somehow disappeared. Rage, Smarty, and Janet smell a rat, and it doesn't smell good. Some new danger threatens Virtuous City. Now I want to point out, is, uh, this is actually my first time reading these manuals, and uh, I've played Virtua Cop 1 and 2 a number of times as a kid, and of course as you saw, as you may see in the videos, this isn't apparent at all. None of this story is real. Janet is just another person that's visible now. I didn't know any of this. I didn't know she had like a a mentor and stuff. There's there's so much rich story here. Of course, same as before. Controller, gun, got your arcade mode with your beginner, medium, and expert levels. One, two, and three. The object of the game is to clean up Virtuous City by ridding it of some of its less desirable characters. This is done by shooting them. You are armed with a six round weapon with sufficient stopping power to put most bad guys down with a single shot. But for a real test of your marksmanship, try these bonus point shots. Three point shot bonus is given for hitting a single target with three rounds before he fades off screen. And the justice shot bonus is awarded for hitting the weapon arm of your target, putting him out of commission, but leaving hope for rehabilitation. Let's see what else there is to say about Virtual Cop 2. You'll need a sharp eye and steady hand to make these shots because the bad guys don't just stand around waiting for you to shoot them. They fight back with everything they've got. You lose a life marker each time one of their shots hits you. And to further complicate things, there are defenseless civilians running around the crime scene. Be careful not to shoot civilians, you lose a life marker if you do. Damaging public and private property is not encouraged by the higher-ups back at the precinct, but extreme situations call for extreme measures, so don't be afraid to blast the occasional oil drum, cash machine, or potted fern if it gets in your line of fire. Some objects in the background blow up when you shoot them, some may fall off the walls onto unwary criminals, and others may contain power-up items to boost your firepower and increase survivability. What those were doing uh, hidden in potted ferns is beyond me, but uh, what do I know about Virtuous City? I've never actually been there. Once again, it tells us the different ammo types at the bottom. We already knew that. You can set it in its new mode, or you can have it displaying like the classic Virtual Cop mode. And like before, it tells us <clears throat> about rankings, game over, putting your name. But uh, and then it tells us about stages. So the uh, order is a little different this time. 
So the first one is Big Chase. You interrupt a jewelry you interrupt a jewelry heist in progress and have to secure the area. Pursue the crooks in your squad car to a blazing gun battle on the other side of town. Bull, the boss at the end of the stage, likes to throw things when he gets angry. Really big things. Stage two, save the mayor. The bad guys have taken the mayor, virtuous city hostage, and are holed up in a luxury ocean liner docked at Pier 10. Fight your way onto the ship and make a room by room search to rescue his honor before evil can cast a very decisive ballot against him. At the end of the stage, the arrow divers, a crack team of terrorists equipped with jetpacks and rocket launchers, plan to bar your way off the Fiesta deck. In stage 3, the rail line shootout, follow the remaining gang members underground through the Virtuous City subway system. The trail leads to a cavernous warehouse where you battle onward to a climactic confrontation with the notorious Garce Bladley in his cat tank. That is a weird ass name. They're, I don't know what they were thinking with that one. Because I know they're trying to make these names seem cool and American, but that doesn't seem like it exists in any any world or any place. And lastly, we get to learn some more about the um, <clears throat> actual cops we're playing as. Despite this being a two-player game and there being three characters, I uh, I think there's there's a certain way you can choose who you play as. I'm not so I can't quite remember the the little button thing you have to do right off the bat. I think it might be a uh, you have to be pressing a certain button at a certain time, like A for Rage, B for Smarty, or C for Janet. I'm not quite sure what it is. It doesn't really change anything aside from the the very rare time maybe just at the beginning of the level when you actually see the character models. So that's not really a thing that matters. So Michael Hardy or Rage, he likes dogs. He was born August 7th. And he is a cop who always goes too far. The troublemaker on the force and a headache for the captain. But his drive and determination make him an invaluable member of the department when things get tough. And Smarty, whose real name is James Cools, his birthday was February 13th, he likes driving, where Rage is the number one hothead in Virtue City, Smarty, his partner, is level-headed and cool under fire. Rage may be quicker on the draw in a gunfight, but nobody, nobody disputes that Smarty is the top shot on the force. And now we get to learn more about the newcomer, Janet. She doesn't have a nickname, she's just Janet Marshall. She likes Café au lait. The newest member of the Virtue City Special Investigations team, Janet, adds adds a new dimension of scientific objectivity to the war on crime. Her education and training have won her respect on the squad, and her accuracy with a gun makes her a crook's worst nightmare. And then we're up on to the credits. So uh, I guess that's that's everything to see here. Go ahead and uh, check out those uh, videos of Virtual Cop 1 and Virtual Cop 2 that uh, I played through with Thomas.